What up, y'all? It's your boy LaShawn. I uh, wanted to say Happy New Year to everybody and uh, hoping your plans and uh, resolutions uh, thus far this year have been uh, fruitful. <laughs> um, I know it's been a minute since I did a video. Um, I've been pretty busy, a lot of exciting things happening, and uh, just projects just taking up a lot of my time. Um, anyway, um, I figured I'd get back to, uh, you know, some videos I've been doing that people have been enjoying pretty much as the, you know, what's in your stash video. So, um, I'm just going to get right into it. I got some new joints. Um, first off, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Groundworks. This is, you know, I mean, what can I say? Studio Bones. Um, I never thought they'd be able to outdo themselves with the original Full Metal Alchemist series. Uh, but they just managed to do it, in my opinion, with Brotherhood. Uh, just took it above and beyond, story-wise. Followed the manga closely, um, and to top it off, dropped the uh, Groundworks, which I, I'm a big fan of. Um, which is usually just consists of all the layouts and key animations and gangas of uh, the TV series they've done with uh, with Evangelion and Dead Leaves and stuff like that. Uh, but you know, now we get to see it with Full Metal you know, Alchemist Brotherhood, and it's the illustrious Studio Bones, my favorite uh, uh, animation uh, studio in Japan currently putting out TV shows back to back. Uh, and this book is, you know, what can I say? It's uh, you know, groundworks of uh, Full Metal Alchemist. If you're familiar with uh, any of the groundworks books, art books, uh, this book doesn't, you know, doesn't doesn't disappoint either. Um, covers tons of uh, key animations and gangas and layouts and stuff from the actual TV series, um, and a nice little booklet. Uh, it's pretty dope, man. I like it. Uh, there's a lot of uh, really really cool um, uh, sequences that I actually enjoy. Some of my favorite scenes wound up uh, captured in this book. Uh, especially the scene with Roy Mustang where he, I won't ruin it for you if you haven't seen the series anyway, it's pretty dope. Uh, yeah, I don't know how much this book costs. Um, there's a guy at my studio here who just comes in and just sells us stuff from his bookstore and I usually just swipe my car and never look at how much stuff costs, but um, I scooped this up right away. Um, I saw it on my boy Alan's website and uh, it just happened to make its way out here, so uh, yeah man, it's a pretty impressive book. Uh, love the artwork and uh, love Full Metal. Uh, here's some of the uh, color pieces that are in the uh, earlier uh, pages that you saw, uh, fully finished and stuff. Interviews, discussions and stuff in the back. Yeah man, this is the goodness right here. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Groundworks. Okay, next up. Uh, Red Line, super anime album, art book. Uh, I mean, I don't know how many people know how much of a big fan I am of Takeshi Koike. Uh, he finally released his magnum opus anime, uh, Red Line, um, and it's spectacular. They finally released an art book for it, and this super anime album collects uh, all of the uh, character designs, model sheets, um, screen grabs, interviews uh, with the creators. Um, and uh, anybody who's unfamiliar with Red Line, uh, this is Takeshi Koike's uh, uh, big movie directorial debut. Uh, he's responsible for uh, animated shorts such as World Record and Animatrix and Tribe of Fist Planet. Uh, he did the uh, pilot uh, intro for Afro Samurai. I mean, this guy's the man, yo. Really, really dope animator, really unique style. Uh, the way he utilizes uh, silhouette blacks in his characters and stuff in his animation and he's just got his own feel man he's a little inspired by uh, Peter Chung a little bit um, I see a little Peter Chung in his work see some uh, European expressionism in his work uh, but you know this book is just really really good I like it a lot um, you can see character designs uh, interviews uh, models sheets you know the racing car designs you know just, yeah, just the good stuff right here, man. Uh, it's a really good book. Um, this actually is the book I've been carrying around with me for the last week and a half or so. Uh, he's just, you know, I just love his, his approach to stuff. And, uh, you know, you got some layouts and uh, key animations, some groundworks in here. Um, some of the model sheets. Yeah, his style is crazy. Um, yeah, man, he put in a lot of work. I heard it took him a few years to do this. 
uh, while he was working on other stuff. But uh, really, really dope book. Uh, Red Line. Uh, it's, 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 it's good stuff. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely peep it. Um, check it out. I don't know when it's available on DVD, but um, it's definitely one of my favorites. And uh, it's a really, really hard animation for me to look at because every shot is just so fluidly animated and there's so much going on. I have to watch it more than once. But uh, yeah, you can see here interviews, uh, layouts, conceptual designs, early designs. Um, Takeshi Koike himself in the view. Um, yeah, man, good book, really dope stuff. Red Line, super anime album. Definitely a good book to cop. Okay, last but not least, uh, this book is really special. Uh, Avatar, The Last Airbender animated TV series, The Art of the Animated Series. Uh, this is a really, really, really special book. Um, this this is one of the few uh, animated TV shows that actually releases an art book uh, for it. Um, and uh, yeah, this book is this book is what's up, man. I mean, you already know. Uh, it's just definitely um, w one of the most uh, uh, cohesive uh, American animated action adventure TV shows that's come out in recent memory. Um, in terms of story, outline, setup, uh, imagination. Uh, really, really inspired stuff, and this book covers all of the uh, early conceptual designs um, with uh, notes and uh, interviews and uh, highlights from the creators themselves, um, covering all the conceptual art from all the uh, Korean animators who worked on this uh, at uh, Studio JM, and uh, yay, JM. Uh, you know, it's just a really, really good book to have. If you're a fan of this series, this book is a must own. Um, I, I don't know if you're a fan, if you don't own this book and you're a fan of the series, um, you definitely need to uh, get a hold of this. This is uh, covering the groundworks um, from all the Korean animators, covering uh, development and production of each season, uh, each chapter. Um, and you can see here, it's just, just you know, non-stop, you know, conceptual designs and uh, just, just really, really, really uh, great stuff. Um, you know, conceptual designs here, you know, from one of my favorite Korean animators, Ryu Kion. Uh, he's amazing. Um, he animated some of the scenes here with Jet as well. Uh, but yeah, just really, really, really talented uh, group of people. And um, this book is just an example of how much work went into the show, how much thought went into it. And uh, it's just a really inspiring book to have, man. I mean, storyboards, props, character designs. I mean, next chapter on Earth. I mean, it, you know, I could do a whole, I could do 10 minutes on this book, but I won't because uh, I don't want to spend too much time on it. But I mean, you get the idea, just flipping through it. It's a pretty good book. Definitely worth your money. Um, I don't know what the price is going for this either. Cause again, I just did the old swipe and called it a day. Um, but yeah, in the back, it's got all the um, uh, promotional artwork, uh, subsidiary artwork, DVD cover artwork, pro, you know, conceptual designs for that. Just, just a really, really good book to have. Um, studio artwork, staff illustrations. Uh, yeah, man. Avatar: The Last Airbender, the art of the animated series. If you can get your hands on this book. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Good stuff.